Hi everyone, it's Pernod. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I really appreciate your visit. Please, if you're new or if you're a, an OG viewer, I appreciate it if you could watch right to the end. It really helps with the algorithm, so I'm told. All right, so now I'm going to continue on. Oh. <laughs> we have a little uh, interruption. Yeah. Say hi to the folks. Yes, you say hi. Okay. Thank you. Lie down. All right. Let's get on with it. So first off, the little paint by number set comes in a nice little craft envelope so you once you have finished your painting there's a spot on the back you could sign it and you could send it off to whomever you want and there's a nice blank spot in the middle so you can write a lovely note after you've done your creation they do recommend uh, sizes two to six brush uh, of all the brushes I have, do you think I have a two to six brush? No, I don't have any. So I used what I had and what I was comfortable with and that was a, a liner brush. You get three paints with the, the kit. You get the fall poplar yellow, the summer sun red, and the graphite. So here I put down the yellow first and then I added the red and let it bloom into the yellow and do a nice little orange. At this point here I decided I would take some of the runoff of the yellow and red and just try and create the orange uh, to see just to, to see what the difference was because I tried in this painting I put down uh, the yellow first and then the red on top of the yellow while it was still wet and let it, the red bloom into the yellow as well I did the red down first and then put the yellow on top while the red is wet and let that those bloom together and also I did the third method was combine the yellow and the red together separately off the work and then add the paint on to the paint by number afterwards. So when I first saw the red, I was kind of like expecting an orange, but hey, you're going to learn some techniques. So I would say experiment and try adding, uh, doing what I did, you know, if you want. You can try doing it off, off on another piece of paper and just experiment rather than doing it right on the card. I was just trying all the methods right on the card itself. And since it's watercolors, you can do a layer, a light layer, and then go over it again and darken it. You don't, I don't think you have to do the, the color really hard and fast the first time.
when I did the painting I decided to do all the inside colors first and like the the yellow uh, the yellow and the orange and red um, and do the graphite or the black of the butterfly later yes don't forget to go around the white areas that are supposed to be left white like uh, the blank the whiteness of the card itself so you don't put any paint in those areas here I did this the segments of the butterflies abdomen I did it in stages because I wanted to, I didn't want the colors to bleed in each segment so I said I would just do the main body and then a little bits of his segment uh, the segment of his thorax afterwards uh, and then go back and just keep layering up the black of the butterflies the body so you can see really see here where I uh, the body of the butterfly where I just left it the blank parts I was just gonna let it dry you know so don't be afraid to just like go off and just let let it dry let it sit and then come back and go and do another layer of color I also didn't want the graphite or the black of the butterfly to bleed into the other colors, so I really wanted to not um, paint next to another area that was still wet I see here I did a I did a lot of water so I got more paint and just kept an eye on <laughs> the orange part but it already dried so it didn't bleed and I just kept adding more paint For around the butterfly's body, I, I didn't want it to blend into its wings, so I did use less water and more paint on my brush for, try, I was trying anyways, to do it darker around the butterfly's body so you could see there was a difference.
Yeah, you see here I, w I went over the areas where I put less paint. So you don't be afraid, you, you can layer and uh, that's what I liked about uh, the uh, what beam watercolors, any, any watercolor. Layers, you can like darken it after. I used a combination of dry brush and wet, uh, like water or more more water with the paint. Uh, I went back and forth between the two because uh, if you add, in my experience, if you add a lot of water, you might get some blooming into the other color, and I just didn't want that to happen. So I found that if I just did a a drier brush, less water, maybe a little more paint and just experiment with that and then I was able to control more of where the blooming went or the water would go. It's always helpful to have some uh, paper towel around so you can do a little bit of blotting in case you do have a little spillage or a little accent happen. Getting close to the end. Don't leave yet. So you see, I went over some areas where I wanted it to darken, like the top wings, I wanted to show there was a difference between them and the bottom wings, so I added more paint. Like I'm dry brushing some more graphite onto the wing here as well as around the, the thorax. Look at me using scientific words. <laughs> Well, I've got a bead of water on that brush. I better be careful. Sometimes that bead of water can drop onto your work. So I, um, it's, a, it's a good practice like to just dab that off so you don't have it drop and then it cause an effect maybe you don't want. There we have it, the finished product. Well, there's my monarch butterfly. Doo, 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 doo. Would I do this again? Yes, I would. And you get, you have, I put the paint away, but you do get a lot of paint in those little beads. So you can practice the techniques over and over. You get a lot of paint. And I really like this project and I would thoroughly recommend it. I spent, uh, I think a couple hours just painting and, letting it dry and, and then just enjoying the whole process. So I hope you like my video and you will drop me a comment, maybe a like. If you would like to see a slower real-time video where I'm doing the paint uh, just with the strokes, I'm going to put that uh, video on my ASMR channel. There's no talking, it's just if you want to watch paint dry, that'll be the video for you. All right. Thank you for watching this video and I'm going to go edit now and thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>